So now on the upper appendage, we're going to look at the muscles of the forearm now. And I'd like to start in this anterior region here, again giving you a reference point. This would be your anti-cubital region, your anti-cubital area. So we're going to take the muscles and look at them going lateral from the anti-cubital area. We're going to come around and look at all of these muscles, and then we're going to end up back here in the anti-cubital area again. So this first muscle laterally then starts up here at the brachial area, and it comes all the way down the bone that's deep to this, which is the radius. So the name for this one is going to be brachioradialis. And that's one word, brachioradialis. Right next to that is another long muscle, and it has a neighbor over here, a short muscle. So these two are named similarly. This one starts up here at the brachial region, but it's an extensor, so it's named for its action as well as its attachment and location. So this one is extensor carpi radialis longus. This one's extensor, comes down to the carpal bones on the radius side, and it's the long one. Extensor carpi radialis longus. So this one next to it is extensor carpi radialis brevis. It's the short one, obviously brevis, similar to the word brief. So extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Then let's come around to the posterior side of the arm, and you can see this muscle comes all the way down to the digits. You see how that tendon comes all the way down to the digits. And this is an extensor as well, so this one is called extensor digitorum. Extensor digitorum. And you can see those tendons there in your hands as well that go to extensor digitorum. And you know that's the extension side of the movement. And then coming around from there to the side where the ulnar bone is, ulna bone is, we're going to have another extensor and it's going to attach down here at the carpal bones again. So this one would be extensor carpi ulnaris muscle. Extensor carpi ulnaris. Again, named for function as well as location and attachment. Extensor carpi ulnaris. So we're coming around now and we're on the medial side here of the arm. And this one is going to come to the anterior side, so it's actually now a flexor. But again, it comes down to the wrist bones. It's on the ulna side of the arm. So flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. Flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. Now as we come around to the palm side of the arm, we see a nice long muscle, nice long tendon going into the palm. And you can see that as well on your wrist. So this is palmaris longus muscle. Palmaris longus muscle. So that should be an easy one to remember. Palmaris longus. So if we come around over here, we have another flexor, right? This is going to flex the wrist. It's going to pull it up. So this one is going to be on the radius side, though. So now you would call it, of course, flexor carpi radialis muscle. So flexor carpi radialis. And then our last muscle of this group is up here, again, right next to the antecubital area. And this is pronator teres. So you know what that action does, then. It pronates the arm. And it's a nice round muscle, so pronator teres. I'd like to give you time to practice now. If you start at the antecubital area, 
you're moving laterally, what was this muscle? And then the one right next to it. Remember that one was paired with this one. And then on the extensor side, what was this one? And then this one. Coming around to the flexors now, you add this one on this side of the arm. And then this one. Another flexor. And then the last one back at the antecubital area that turns the arm. And those are the muscles of the forearm that you need to know.